What is going on guys? It's Ben here. In today's video, we have a bunch of chests to open today. So definitely like you guys are excited for that. We have three crown chests. We're going to open up all of the noon chests. Uh, we have some silver chests down here. Uh, this is right now on my max account. So we're just kind of hoping for like a rare legendary. Even though I am fully maxed now. If you want to check out the other videos of me maxing out the zappies. Me maxing out the hunters. Uh, those are the two previous videos. But dude, the hunter is one. Uh, he's one of my favorite cards. He's one of the best cards. You guys have heard me talk about that over the last few days. And yes... Clan chest now are still kind of bugged out as well. Uh, you guys know the crown chest. When you open up the crown chest, it's actually a gold chest that pops up with crown chest rewards. So that's what's going to happen when we open up our clan chest. Um, but it's still going to have the similar rewards. So we're kind of hoping to get a legendary. But like I said, we're going to open up legendary king's chest. Uh, we'll actually open up on those like on my level 11 account where I actually need legendaries. And I'm hoping for, I think, like the bandit and the electuars or something like that. So hopefully we can get some useful legendaries on that account. Uh, nothing out of the first clan chest. That's okay. Uh, Tops was also Dan's bro YouTuber. XIV and Rudy the Beast 19 going ham on the clan chest. On this account, I only had 11. It's because I was getting one crowns for days, man. It was it was a struggle. Uh, my Benton 1 Chemmer 1 actually has like the 14. And my Benton 1 noob, I don't even know that was. So I was a little lax luxer on the clan chest today. But we're going to get into a match. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Mortar seems to be the most meta card at my trophy range, um, at least at the top two. When I'm facing a level 12, I automatically at my trophy range think Mortar right now. Um, recall that right off the bat, and my opening hand honestly isn't the best to kind of well suit deal with the Mortar because he's probably going to throw it on a Knight. Um, he's got the Bats. Uh, I'm actually just going to let my the Bats kill my P.E.K.K.A. because I, I can't really afford to overextend elixir too bad otherwise i will fall too far behind and not have a whole lot to take this out and plus if he has like like the minion heart or something that's a very popular mortar deck as well uh there's the two variants one's like the one before where it has the rocket in there this guy might be running that one i'm gonna have to go in with a blue in here dude i literally this guy's on too fast of a cycle already so if my opening hand isn't great it kind of lets me down a little bit because i just i have to eat a little bit of tower damage and then kind of hopefully be able to do an awesome push at the end, but uh, the bats coming in, um, I'm not going to have to worry about those either. So at least we're getting a little bit of a break. The knight may get one hit, hopefully none. Nice, he doesn't even get a hit there. So that helps out a little bit. But we're this is kind of a struggle. If I don't have like a P.E.K.K.A. in the opening hand or I misplay it early on, it leaves me in a tough spot. So Mortar is definitely one of my worst matchups because it's such a good... It's too good, right? I, I don't know. I feel as though since this update, like the Mortar just got, for whatever reason, just got super amazing. Um, I can't really tell why, but he's getting two shots on there. And this guy obviously has a rocket in his bag of tricks still. Um, so we have to be on the lookout for that. The bats, don't really have to worry about. But now we can actually have my P.E.K.K.A. on rotation for his mortar. Uh, it's the first time that I don't have to like kind of like scramble and try and get to it. So we are getting close to double elixir. I'll throw it on the P.E.K.K.A. right now. He'll probably throw it on a defensive mortar. Uh, but we'll see what we can do here. It's going to be, I basically have to go all out once double, uh, double elixir hits. And not have any any mix-ups or anything like that. So we're going in here. We're gonna throw on the hunter. Um, I will arrow. I missed the mortar, but that's fine. Uh, just to get some more damage in there. And then we still have our Pekka a little bit healthy, but he's gonna be able to cycle. And he's probably already back on his mortar. So I'm gonna cycle to my Pekka. <laughs> this is a struggle, man. Oh, we have an awesome matchup versus Hog Rider. Why can we not play Hog Rider right now? But we'll throw on the Pekka. I'll sit in that ton elixir. Oh, got a little bit of a drop glitch there. Um, nothing too crazy, but we'll throw on our Inferno Dragon. Um, I'm gonna go in with the balloon here. These, 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 uh, these, these archers are killing me though, man. For real. Like, I cannot get by them, it seems like. Oh, and he's got the, yeah. Well, we're done there. Um, he just got incredibly, he got a lot of value. Uh, he got my Electro Wizard on the drop there. Uh, we saw the rocket come out. We knew we knew it happened, dude. I faced this deck so much times. Now he's just gonna probably try and cycle his rocket, get me out on defense. The reason why I'm throwing down my Infernal Dragon like that, so he has to like counter it. And I thought I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can hold out. I doubt we'll be able to. And the reason why I've been cautious, trying to like, oh, our Pekka might actually get to the tower. Doesn't even matter. Like the reason why I kind of just zapped there, just because why not? It's like, yo, he's just gotta get into his next rocket. And it's going to be game over. So we'll see if we can actually get the balloon there, maybe. I don't know, but he's got his rocket in hand. I wish you could, like, protect your tower with, like, a, uh, I don't know, like a shield or something. But, hey, 
Like I said, if we if I run into a level 12 on my trophy ranger now, 99% of the time, 99, it's a mortar. So the logs though, mortars for days, like everywhere, dude. They're running rampant right now. So I think, I think personally, the next balance change already, we're gonna see like a mortar change. Uh, but we'll hop onto the level 11 account, see if I fare a little bit different. I'll, for those of you like maybe in like the mid 4,000 trophies, like 4,000, no, I'd say like 4,200 to like 3,500. What is the meta like around there? Is it a lot of mortars? Is it not? Um, I do have a better matchup versus the mortar that plays the miner and minion horde though, because I have the arrows in there. But depends. It really depends. But hey, mortar's tough for sure. And I just have to find a better way to get around it. But I really do like my battle. Like that's the thing. If I don't face the mortar, I have a good matchup versus like everything. And then I still can win mortar matches. I don't want. I'm making it seem like oh I cannot win at all. It's still possible to win. It's just a tough matchup, if that makes sense. So it's like 50-50 versus the Mortar. Uh, if, if it is a solid Mortar player, like that, which that guy was. Uh, and he got a lot of value out of that rocket. So I hate to say it, I really do. But if you're looking for a good battle deck to push, the Mortar might be for you. Um, it's very solid, this patch, uh, this, this, uh, this round of balance changes. Sadly, no crown or no clan slash gold chest legendary. But now this is where we get into the gemming. The gem spree. So hopefully you guys are excited. We got an epic chest as well. Hoping to get the hunters. Uh, we'll up actually upgrade the bats too since it is in the battle deck. But we're hoping for bandits or electro wizard because then we can upgrade them, get to level four. Um, my my trophies on this account are kind of abysmal as well. I haven't trophy pushed too much, but hopefully get some get some get some good epic, some hunters. I mean I got the P.E.K.K.A. I got one P.E.K.K.A. and that is in my battle deck. But I guess you're seeing a lot of P.E.K.K.A.s today. That's one of my favorite cards. Uh, to be completely honest, but yeah, I still have not opened a lightning chest on this account. See what happens. See if I see see how how I feel when I'm tr when I actually need to get cards and not just like throw them away. We got the hunter, bring back good memories there. All right, we'll open up another one. Why not? But I'm really excited for the legendary king chest, where the legendary actually means something. Like it doesn't just get tossed aside because I was trophy or not trophy. I was chest hunting, obviously for the, only the hunter and the zappies for the longest time. Well, mainly since the update came out, so it felt so wasteful. But hey, I had you got to do what you got to do to try and get these new cards. But hey, uh, we'll take this. Like I said, we only really need uh, the Electro Wizard or the Bandit, but I guess we can take whatever we want. Um, take this. Take the Barbarians. Hmm, Hograt is too good not to take. He's still strong, even though he got nerfed. Still a super good card, and we got some Packos. All right, we'll take those all day, every day. Now for the legendary, give me the bandit. Electro wizard, fine. We're perfectly fine with that. That was an awesome chest. Nice, and we can get this electro wizard. A beefy upgrade, getting that to level four is gonna be super helpful. And then now, why not? We got some more gems. We have one, also, we do have one more clan chest open. See if we can get a clan chest legendary. Obviously they're super rare, uh, but it would be, visually it would be out of a gold chest. Uh, but I don't know. I, I know it's just a bug. They'll, they'll definitely bring those chests back in the whatever. I just don't, I'm, I'm trying to understand like, maybe just a line of code they accidentally put in like a gold chest or used the wrong image for something. I'm not sure, but let's see if we can clutch up, get a bandit. Oh my God, dude, that's a, this is a, this would have been a perfect chest for the first one, but it's an obvious choice right now because I already do have my Electro Wizard to level four. We want to get the bandit to level four. So terrible luck opening legendary King's chest on my main account. Amazing luck opening them on this account. So we'll continue it. See what we can do. Like, you guys cannot understand how excited for how my wallet and my self-esteem and my my sanity is so happy that this chest has replaced the super magical chest in the shop because it's gonna make legendary hunting and getting legendaries so much easier for people that actually maybe want to just get a legendary, maybe just get upgrade a legendary for my purposes, max out a legendary. Uh, so I cannot wait for the royal ghost to come out. Guaranteed a legendary in every chest. That's gonna be so helpful. It was so annoying Opening magical super magical chest and not even getting a legendary and basically spending Double the amount of gems and you have you guys have heard me talk about that over like the last Four videos maybe probably I should stop talking about because it it's probably like me being super repetitive But I'm just trying to stress it so much like these chests are going to I think these chests are way better I love the lightning chest. It's a very cheap cost and you get Basically to choose your cards. Uh, you have a good shot of getting a card that you actually need. 
Fortune chest, I like the idea, I really do. Maybe it could use some tweaks a little bit, I don't, I don't really know, but if you have a good fortune, go for it. You can open them and you, you basically have a very high chance of getting the card that you want. So I really do like these chests, uh, replacing the other ones. Personal opinion, um, if you agree, leave a like, why not? Because uh, also we're just gonna do a lot of chest openings. Um, I don't know, this is a tough choice here though. This is like the first one I really had to think about. Dark Goblin I'll take. Um, don't really use the cannon. I guess the game is telling me to run Golem Battle Deck, right? I mean, I got Golem twice in a row, but now Electro Wizard or Bandit. Please give me the Bandit, that'll be nice. Um, the Sparky, guys, the Sparky's actually decent, pretty good right now. Uh, with the change in the, all the spells, it seems as though like heavy damage spells are a little bit less played, not as much played as they used to be. Yes, some people still run the rocket. Yes, some people run the lightning cell and zaps are still prevalent. But like it used to be a majority of people were running a rocket. It seemed like, at least in my trophy range. So Sparky wasn't really useful. But at least now, um, it seems though, like some people have take, taken a step back and have kind of stopped using it a little bit. So the Sparky gets a little bit of a boost. That's That's just what I think. But hopefully, hopefully we get some, get some, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh, I'll take the Mega Knight. I'll take it. Brings back memories. Trying to get a bunch of them. We can open up one more Legendary's King chest. We'll do a battle here. Test our luck. See what happens. I guess I can open up that Magical chest as well. I didn't even notice that was my free chest slot. Uh, but it's been a while. It's been a very long time since I did like an all or every chest opening video. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, I know I've been chest opening a lot these last few videos so like i said hope you guys hope you guys have been staying tuned um i'll try and get some great battle x the zappies it's gonna be tough i'll try I, i'll get some different style battle x too with the hunter because the one that i have is just i personally love playing like heavier battle x and like the pekka um yes versus the motorcycle i do have a rough matchup and people are gonna be like oh ben you suck you didn't even win that whatever <laughs> but i'll make some different battle x that like Maybe for different play styles, or uh, if you guys want to see some ones for the hunter, uh, because as you as the time goes on, the hunter is going to become more and more prevalent, and I think as people level it up, they're going to actually see just how good and how strong the card is, and going to want to use. I'm going to arrow here, get rid of these goblins. Didn't actually take care of the lecture wizard like I planned, um, but yeah, as people get their like hunter to playable levels, maybe at least tournament level. They're gonna realize, like, it's a solid card. At close range, it blows up everything. That's the key, though. You have to keep it at close range. It's a very solid defensive card. It can even help out with bats, help out with some minions if they're weak. Um, I, I really like the card. I think it's a solid and awesome card. And this guy running a very similar battle deck to what I'm using. So, I'm gonna wait till I have... I can't wait till I have 9 Elixir. Um, you know what? We'll drop down the Electro Wizard, and I'll throw some bats, just to hopefully win. Uh, I could push the other lane with the Hog Rider, but it's not fully necessary just yet. Might have to zap. Mmm. Yeah, I think. No, don't even have to zap. Well, that was a waste of zap. I didn't realize my Archer, my uh, Archer Tower was actually locked onto the, to the Pekka. So that was my mistake. Uh, throw on your Pekka, bro. I'll go all in here. You know, we're just gonna do that right now. See what you got, man. Do you have arrows? I haven't seen arrows out of you just yet. He does have the ice goal, and we knew that one was coming around. He probably has the zap, so at least it's getting the pressure off of our other side, and I can counter push, hopefully. We'll probably see a hog rider over here. We got our bats ready for that. So we'll just have to zap his bats. And then he didn't even really get that much damage under the tower, plus we have a P.E.K.K.A. on the right-hand side. Um, we're not gonna worry about the Electro Wizard. We'll have to let that go. And then go on with a Hog. And then Minion Horde, because why not, right? Right? <laughs> so our Pekka's is getting dragged across the land here. But at least it's delaying him from actually throwing down another, another Hog Rider, because we're losing in the cycle battle, for sure. Dang, man. Hog Rider getting dropped? Yes, there's the Hog Rider. Come on, slow him down. Like, uh, this puts me in a tough situation. I don't know. He's got that P.E.K.K.A., which really is gonna suck because I can't get by it. 
Like, here comes the P.E.K.K.A. Hog Rider's not even gonna get a hit. Maybe one. Okay, I got one. And I'm just gonna have to play straight defense now. Ah, cannot get the victories, man. Lightning coming out. Ooh. Well. How do you do, man? But the Hog Rider going to the wrong lane, though. Well, that's good for us. Zap does not kill. We're gonna arrow these goblins. Did he just make the epic ace misplay? Like, yo. If he doesn't have his lightning, it's GG. Oh my god! Can we get some clutch in the chat? I for sure thought there was no way we were winning that. 100%. That's why you never give up. Oh my goodness. He made the worst misplay ever. His hog rider went to the other tower. And that left me the opportunity to counter push. Wow. Wow. Well, we just pulled one off our butts there. So, nice. Let's see if we can continue like the, the things going in our favor with getting a nice... Le Actually, I didn't even open up a fortune chest, did I? I'll open up one on my level level uh, one account. Open up a few. But hopefully I have a better fortune over there. Um, Guards. Guys, guards. Very good. I highly recommend if you have them at a decent level, you can try and fit them in your battle deck. Guards are amazing. Um, Epics. I don't really care for those. Prince is a solid card as well. Electro Wizard. Bandit. Log or Miner. We already have the Log. Going to be level 2. Uh, I use the Miner more often, so hopefully eventually we can get him that. But alright, let's head on to the level 1 account. I have basically 3 gold chests to open because we got the one down here. The technically... Technically is a gold chest, but it isn't. The crown chest up here. And then also, now the clan chest. We are 0 for 2 today. I think last week we were, we, were, we basically didn't get one any or get any clan chest either. Let me know if you got any clan chest legendary or free chest legendary, whatever. Or even quest legendary. I guess I got to start saying that now. So sadly, not for us. No clan chest legendary this week. Um, honestly, for, for basically trophy pushing, I got a lot of three crowns a day. Uh, or not not three crowns today, but three crowns this week. It was awesome, man. Usually it's a tough sledding to get crowns on this account. Usually I only get like four or five because I usually only get one crowns. We got 14 this time due to the three crowns. So I was hyped for that uh, because the reason why I'm not playing ladder is because it's such a struggle to get 3,000. And once the Royal Ghost is, maybe I'll start doing some ladder matches. Got some more legendaries to work with. Be a level one with all of the... All the legendaries. Do I have all the cards too? No, I have to be Arena 11 to unlock those zappies. Well, I don't think that one's coming. Uh, that one's uh, that one be that one would be difficult. But uh, we also have the fortune chest. Can't. What is my fortune? We got the log in there. Minion horde. Um, so we're hoping for the log, I guess, because I do use this. Well, it doesn't even really matter. I keep it level one. But this chest, guys, it is like the most guaranteed of guaranteed you can ever ask for because the ratio. Is going to be you're gonna get a legendary in every one of ten chest so whether it falls on like the third of the tenth chest or three out of ten it's gonna stay at that until maybe like the next day it's gonna be consistent as long as it's like so say if you open up 20 chests you're gonna get two legendaries if you open up 30 you're gonna get three and I haven't seen anything indicate that it's gonna be different but the mirrors the mirror looks a little different doesn't it it's purple but it looks fine there so maybe it's just the lighting uh, but there we go, guys. We'll wrap it up with one more lightning chest so we can get a legendary. Sadly, no. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Finished off this here. I mean, why not? We don't really need anything else. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hope you guys have been enjoying the chest openings. Stay tuned for tomorrow, and I'll see you guys later.